This is a production of the Gold Arrow Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Gold Arrow Camp Podcast, a podcast for friends of Gold Arrow Camp. Throughout the year, we join you to bring your day some of what makes Gold Arrow special. Our goal is to help you have fun, make friends, and grow throughout the year, not just when you're a GAC. Since we can't get together in real life, we gather here around the virtual campfire. We have some of your favorite parts of morning assembly, like wows and joke of the day. We also have interviews with experienced campers, some of your favorite counselors. We think it's a lot of fun, and we're glad you joined us here on the podcast. This is podcast episode 12, and we're talking with the man who introduced us to the energy bus. It's Bambino. This week we're talking about the theme for summer of 2017, which is hop on the energy bus with Bambino. He'll be around later in the show. But I want to talk about the importance of the theme in general because I've been thinking a lot about last year's theme. Last year we talked about growing grit. And in fact, if you listen to the podcast, you know that both Manners and Toodles have talked about how important growing grit is to them at college. It's something they took from camp with them. I'm working on growing grit by trying to learn to play the guitar. You might have noticed I'm not all that good at it yet, and I'll be honest, it hurts my fingers and it's hard, but because I'm thinking about last year's theme and how important grit is, I'm going to stick with it and try and get better. You'll have to ask me to play sometime this summer if you see me. Anyway, today we're going to talk about getting on the energy bus. We're talking with Bambino because he was the guy who introduced the energy bus to us at camp last year, but that's coming up later in the show. For now, we have some other business to attend to. That's right, friends. It's time for wows. Wows are little shout outs you can send to me and I send them to people on the podcast. You can email me at wow at goldarrowcamp.com or you could hashtag us, hashtag GAC wow. Here are three wows from Grizzly. Wow to Slim for being gritty as he gets his teaching career underway. Wow to Sandwich for his incredible nature and kindness. Wow to Turbo for his sensational work on the GAC yearbook. Hey, did you get your yearbook? I got my yearbook. It was pretty awesome, and I agree. Turbo and all the photographers did a really awesome job, so wow to all of them. We have some poems for you. I like poems. We, uh, we like to start a poetry corner with some, uh, some well-thought-out haikus. Really, this week, Poco has one haiku. Here it comes. I hope you enjoy. Haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense refrigerator why is it called joke of the day if it's not funny do you guys know what kind of pictures turtles take shelfies all right and now we get to welcome bambino to the podcast how exciting welcome bambino Thank you, Soy. Glad it's exciting, right? Yeah. 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 Um, all right. And today we're going to talk really specifically about uh, the theme for 2017, which is to hop on board the energy bus. But before we get to that, um, <laughs> for people who maybe don't know you, could you talk a little about uh, what you do for camp and how you came to work for camp? Uh, so basically, I'm, I'm a group counselor. I was a group counselor for Cabin 28, so uh, roughly 13, 14-year-old boys. Um so yeah, I just came, I actually found out through camp through Cappy and Mac, um, was good friends with Mac, actually was one of her RAs in the dorms. Okay. Um, so met her through that and then just kind of found out through about camp and it sounded like a cool thing to do for a summer and then I've been there for two now. So a, a summer turns into two, <laughs> turns into three, turns into a career. Right? Exactly. Hopefully. Um, so obviously we're talking to you because you're the guy who brought the energy bus, the book to camp to read to Cabin 28 last year. How did you find out about the energy bus? Um, actually, it was funny because uh, the way I found out about it was through my mentor, who he was teaching a class that I was in, and he was just talking about like a bunch of good books, and he would list off good books, and I would write some down, and I just happened to buy this book, and I was like, oh, I'll check it out, and sure. I read it um, throughout the year, and I was like, man, this is awesome. Like, I want to share this with everybody. Right. And one of the rules is like, you know, share this with your yeah, friends yeah. or whatever. 
Um, so after that, I was like, you know what? I was thinking about before camp and during the spring, during the semester, I was like, it'd be really cool to share this with my cabin and just like, just read this book to him because I know we have to read anyway. And right. like, I enjoy, th- this is something I believe in, sure. something I'm about. So I was like, why not share this with, you know, the boys? So um, it went great. I thought they all really enjoyed it and I'm really excited that I got to bring that here. I was going to ask because I think, like generally we don't think as a culture about like reading to 14 and 15 year old boys. Like we kind of think, okay, they're on their own. Mm-hmm. But we obviously read at camp and I was really interested to know like did they respond well to it yeah that was my thing too was like for me i wanted to give them something they could take from from the reading sure i wanted it to be something that they could take later on in life um so my thing was i didn't want to just read them some random book that i didn't have any experience with this is true this is what i believe in this is stuff like i'm studying now so this is something i wanted to like just gift them and overall like i thought the kids loved it um, every day there's just like little like comments here and there just like hey make sure you're staying positive man or just like just little things like that and it was just like so cool to see just walking around camp and being around the guys and just like me reminding them like hey no energy vampires today guys right It'd be cool and so just little things like that and I think it really helped them understand positive energy and like having a positive attitude and taking control of the things you can um, so that was that was the note that's what I noticed at least from the day-to-day stuff with the boys so, yeah, you talked a little bit about energy vampires and staying positive. <laughs> For parents who maybe haven't read the book um, yet, could you just give us a little summary of what the energy bus is all about? Yeah, so it's just basically like 10 rules um, to live live on your daily daily life, things you can do, basically about maintaining a positive attitude, um, worrying about things you control, um, you know, having a purpose, having a vision, um, sharing that purpose with others and that vision, and then just going along with that and just living it enthusiastically positively every day and then just um just living it out like having fun with life um really focused on the positive aspects of everything then that's something i feel like stands true to me sure that's something i want to focus on like you can the way i see it, you can view situations in a negative way or a positive way it's up to you which which way you want to see it and so i think the book kind of gets to the core of that and it's just like you have control over over what you believe and what you see in every situation so 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 really it's about choosing to be positive and then that kind of cascades downhill? Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's just like having a positive attitude. You know, sure. things can go bad, but ultimately, you know, they can get better and they will get better. Right. Just given time. And throughout the book, you know, it talks about um, George and how he goes through life and it starts off really rough. Yeah. And eventually, like, through his attitude and through his, like, having a purpose and, like, having an idea of what he wants to do in life, he essentially builds that positive attitude that positive every day like i'm a go-getter i'm gonna go get life sure. rather than like oh just going through the motions every day and that's a huge thing for i don't know for anybody yeah, I feel I like just that positive psychology that positive mindset every day can really change aspects of your life so i wanted to share this with the cute boys and i thought it was cool to like get the chance to do that right and we talk about a lot i think having fun and being happy and i think camp is a place that really allows that yeah do you think like, did you see a change when boys were being intentional about being positive? Did it make them happier, do you think? Um, the, I think the biggest thing I saw was just they were encouraging others. Okay. And so, you know, maybe some guy's having a bad day, whatever's going on. Um, it was more like a social thing. Sure. It was a social group, like, hey, we're in this together. We're on each other's bus. Like, hey, let's move this forward rather than, like, detouring it like going the wrong way or going backwards sure. um so that's what i noticed from a day to day it was not necessarily like oh everything is like oh so great something you have to be real at points yeah, and there's gonna sure. be bad things that happen but it's like ultimately guys like hey we got stuck in a canoe like what are we gonna do we're we gonna pout about it or are we gonna move on figure out what we're gonna do and just be like hey this is cool like we get to be with each other right and so you got to take a positive out of everything and that's what i tried to do with them and that's what i noticed as a session went on with each cabin i think they did a little bit more of that and just, like, little aspects mm-hmm. of just, like, tiny things. Um, and it was just, like, it was cool to see. And, like I yeah. said, to have them support each other, yeah. which was huge. Um, yeah, especially for, like, teenage boys. Yeah. Right there, yeah. the whole world tells them, be independent, be your own man. And yeah. for them to, like, realize you can lean on each other is really awesome. And I think that's something that in Valhalla we try to focus on. You know, we're a team, we're a group, we're guys. Like, we want to be together. Yeah. Um, and so it's, like, if I, my cabin's, you know, giving a good example, like, being positive and stuff like that, that's only going to be good for the rest of – not only the boys' cabins, or like all the cabins I can, sure. you know, as the younger kids look up to him too. So my thing is like, you guys are examples, like be positive, be happy. Like you guys are here, enjoy your summer, like have fun with it. Right. And so I feel like for the most part that I, I didn't notice 
that not happening. It was definitely yeah. happening. It was cool to see. Um, okay, so you obviously saw an impact on like the 10 boys that you worked with. What do you think the impact of having it on 270 campers can be? <laughs> it's cool. Um, I, you know, when you guys told me about this whole energy bus thing, I automatically lit up. This is the cool. This yeah. is really cool. It's and awesome. For me, like this is something that's really cool to me. Like this is something I believe in, like I've said. Um, but to see this get implemented throughout all camp, I only see like great things. And I'm really excited to see what's going to come through this summer and like how the kids and like how staff and how everybody embraces this and kind of, I don't know, I'm just, it's exciting to see. I'm really, I'm really hoping for good things. And obviously I'm going to bring that positive energy, yeah. positive vibe every day. So I agree. I think it's, and then to send them home, like with this message of positivity, Yeah. like, yeah. and then we're working, I don't know if Sunshine told you, but we're working with the energy bus for schools. Yeah. I and saw so that. They've got a program for schools and we're going to pilot one for camps. That's so cool. And then kids can take it back. To, I think I, no, oh! that's awesome. They're taking it home. That's what I'm saying. Right? Like my whole vision for this was to just like have something the kids can take from home. I know camp gives a lot of things to take from home, but one of my things is like, if I can provide anything positive like positive mindset just being positive about things right and it's such a simple thing <laughs> yeah. right once like once you flip that switch and people see how you can do it it's like oh this is a really easy yeah. thing to do yeah and it, like you said it just takes that flipping of the switch you know just right? like hey there's two ways i can view this you know what i mean like something bad can happen and they're good bad things are good and yeah. really gonna happen absolutely but it's the way you perceive them i think is which yeah. is really important i agree all right so that's kind of the energy bus i think it's exciting stuff but before we let you go we need to hit the speed round Okay. Questions okay. everybody answers. Important <laughs> stuff, Bambino. Okay. okay. What's your favorite salad bar item? Um, spinach. Spinach. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite repeat after me song? Ooh. Um, you know, I really liked when Cupcake did the um, Tarzan song. I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah. Cupcake had a special special voice. There's, to it. And there's some like some yeah. pounding and some yeah. eye, there's some swinging. Agreed. That was a good one. That was a good one. Um, what's your favorite chapstick flavor? Mmm. Probably, uh, was it Valhalla Melon? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. it's a throwback. Oh, obviously. I don't want to be biased, but... but yeah, listen, <laughs> I hear where you're at. Uh, mallows or popcorn? Ooh. Uh, for, okay, I'm biased because I don't like cooking popcorn. <laughs> so, but if I was to choose it myself, definitely popcorn. <laughs> but but so like, somebody else cooked yeah, it, exactly. then popcorn. But other tall, than that. Too tall, you can cook this. Yeah, okay. Is he, is he a good popcorn maker? Yeah, he's really good. Okay. So I let him, him do that stuff. I just light stuff on fire. Perfect I, team. I got to move away from him. <laughs> and finally, Bambino, everybody wants to know, what's your real name? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're all out of time. That's the end of the interview. Thanks for coming on, Bambino. No problem. Thank you for having me. And now... It's time for another Gaxpiration with Sunshine. This week's Gaxpiration comes from Taylor Swift. Maybe you're not meant to fit in. Maybe you're supposed to stand out. Well, that does it for another episode of the Gold Arrow Camp Podcast. We're thrilled that you joined us. I hope you like the show. If you're on iTunes and you're listening, rate and review so that we can help get in other people's uh, feeds Share the podcast if you like it. I think there's good stuff here. I mean, not my stuff, but the other stuff is pretty good. We want to thank Sunshine for the Gaxpiration. Also, T-Swift, if we're honest. We want to thank Bambino for a really great interview about the Energy Bus. We want to thank the Energy Bus guys for getting together with us to do Energy Bus for camps for 2017. We're really excited about the theme. We want to thank bensounds.com for the music. They do the intro and the outro and the Gaxpiration music. We want to thank... Everyone involved with sending us a wow or making the podcast possible, you guys are awesome. I'm Soy, and I'll save a marshmallow for you.